Yeah, they know they can't play us. Daddy, bring my name up. And please don't call my phone about copping deuces. I'm gonna hang up. And I still a get active with no mask. Forget I'm famous. Can't afford to get me no more. I got my change up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody ain't born in the project. Like, I'm born in the projects. Everybody ain't from the projects. Centuries. Like, I ain't gonna lie, you better be fully focused, fully prepared, fully ready. Like, and that goes for the whole city, like, from the west end, the east end, to, to downtown, to the south. Everybody's with it. Like, we got various real everywhere. Why would you, why you decide to go at G? I ain't gonna lie, like, my whole camp was like, f that shit. But, like, I felt like I needed to be the voice of my side of the story. Like, I felt like he'd been shitting on us for long. It's like, you feel me? He say a little more. We get on ESD for free as G about the freeway. We the reason for it bad and that zip on his stomach and a couple is their homies. Love the video shoot, got shot. In your car? Yep. Yep, yep, got shot five times. My people was with me, my brother was with me. Got shot in his leg. I got shot in my stomach four times. Shot in my, my face and my left eye. Only thing gonna take that pain away is if you get racks forever get my lick back. Ten people were recently indicted on drug and weapons charges. All are alleged to be a part of the Everybody Shines Together Gang, or EST. Make no mistake, these subjects are offenders. Ones she says are terrorizing the community and are linked to multiple crimes. Hey, yo, squad, what's the drill? Back at y'all with another video, man. Music has seen the rise of many new talents over the recent years, and it seems like an era of the real is coming back. The authentic, raw, gritty music that brings that passion and energy to the listener. Rising star ESTG has all eyes on him and he's bringing that fire straight out of Kentucky. But that come up lost him some friends, family, a scholarship, and nearly cost him his life when Ops got the drop on him. This is the story of ESTG, his come up, his beefs, and the events that led to him being shot by his Ops and his crew being indicted. So without further ado, Let's skip the play play and get down to business. When you think of hip hop, your mind doesn't immediately go to Louisville, Kentucky, but that's becoming a thing of the past. With hip hop superstars like Jack Harlow and Bryson Tiller doing this thing in the R&B scene, they've been adding their own flavor to the game. But in recent times, a new artist has emerged from the trenches with a style of music that has captured all ears in the industry. His name, ESTG. George Albert Stone III, also known as ESTG, came up in Louisville, Kentucky, mainly in the streets of 5500 Riata Drive. He was a young kid surrounded by street influences, living in a home that was just trying to make it out of the trenches. Nah, my whole family is in the street, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what it was. His moms was out grinding to provide the best she could, and Pops was a known gangster in the streets, getting shot by the time he was just 11. He had a gold tooth, got shot. What he said, he had a go to, got shot, and had a tattoo by the time he was 11 years old. <laughs> he was putting in work to bring his family a better life, but as ESTG grew up, he understood more and more how messed up his life was. With his mom's losing custody of him due to lifestyle circumstances. She took care of me for a while, you know what I'm saying, when I was younger. Like, I ain't always live with my mom and my daddy. Like, I live with my, my granny for a little, a little while, you know what I'm saying. My mama had lost custody of me, you know what I'm saying? I lived with my granny for a little while. And Pops being in prison part of his childhood, G didn't have it the easiest. Even with his childhood in the projects, G always knew he was destined for something better and put the work in on the field to gain a scholarship to Indiana State to play football. You had a scholarship to play football in college, is that right? Yes, I did. What college were you supposed to go to? Uh, Bro was rated as the top linebacker in Kentucky and was nice with it. G was shining even harder making the move to Sacramento City College where his talent was on track to take him big. But during all this, there was something else going on in his life. The sad reality is, G was funding his dreams out of his own pockets and not burdening his parents any further to pay his college tuition. G was doing it all on his own. You know what I'm saying? Not to knock nobody, but a lot of shit that I was doing, I was doing it by myself. Like, I chased my dream to play this sport for a long time, for as long as I could, you know what I'm saying, by myself, just because I felt like in me. This pushed G deeper into the street life that he grew up around from his childhood. It was like second nature. In the Louisville projects, G was surrounded by pain, gunplay, and bloodshed, so the instincts came naturally. G was moving weight as a big fish in the trafficking game, and that bank was funding his career on the field. The money and the vices became too much, 
and the street dealer and gangster ESTG was born. G was putting in work on all ends in the street, doing it all as a youngin. Anything, anything, anything that a nigga feel like is that a street supposed to do, I did it. Period. You know what I'm saying? As far as anything being sold, anything being shipped, anything being protected, anything being, I done did it. But G got too caught up being greedy, and it cost him everything. Trying to secure an extra bag, G got hemmed up by the law. In 2016, G was arrested for a trafficking charge and facing up to 10 years. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got caught with 12 pounds, like 8,500. You know what I'm saying? It was just my day. You know what I'm saying? I was moving and grooving. I should have been gone, but I didn't. I'm trying to be greedy and get them extras and mm -hmm. beat me in my ass. With a newborn son on the way, ESTG knew he couldn't lose his freedom like that. Luckily, he got lawyered up and got his charge reduced to four months house arrest, five years probation. But blessings come in some of the darkest moments, and that moment was ESTG's big break. With football dreams down the drain, he turned to rapping under the alias Big G. His life and experiences turned into words and it went hard. G invested in a $600 studio package from eBay and began dropping heat for the streets from his bathroom on house arrest after seeing the up-and-coming little baby do his thing. One of the first official tracks he dropped was Stains, and his hunger, talent, and unique sound was clear as day off the rip. Soon he would be off house arrest and it was go time with music. This is where his name EST found its real roots among his homies that formed the collective EST Entertainment, also known as Everybody Shine Together. Now if you thought this was the end of his struggles, you wouldn't be more wrong. Because as crazy as it sounds, this is where his real struggles began. His team was Everybody Shine Together, but somewhere in the mix, somebody didn't want ESTG to shine. But before tragedy struck, at this point in his life, a key figure and homie helped him in the music game, YLG Peso. I ain't never seen a hoe won't go in the UFO. My people thought me at UB. The young bulls back out. Word is that they were both football players at Xavier High School, and Peso was like a bro to G. Guess real bonds never end. Well, at least that's what they thought. In 2018, they dropped the banger, the come up, and everything seemed to be on the up and up. They would link up to celebrate G's freedom, and that's when things went sour. On July 2019, the two in their camps hit up quality over quantity media studio to supply heat for the streets. But somewhere in the process, an altercation broke out between the two sides and shots were fired, ending the life of the studio owner. 27-year-old Brian Owsley, also known as Coach O, also known as Big O. The significance of this was that Big O was not only a pillar in the community as a coach and a mentor for the youth, but he was a stand-up guy and respected key figure to the West Louisville area. This is where hood politics ignites a ton of beef and tragedy coming G's way. Like many other cities, Louisville's street scene is divided into sets. You have East End, South End, West End, and Newburgh with G-Reps. After Big O's passing in the ESTG and the West End altercation, the two sides were no longer allied with each other. The music collab stopped, and ESTG and YLG Peso, even though friends from the past, had part ways due to their affiliations. This was when West End Hood Savage, H Block Duke, started applying pressure on ESTG. H Block Duke reps H Block, you don't say, which is 23rd and Humler Street, Louisville, and can be seen posted up in his songs like Cutthroat Baby. Allegedly, the West End will begin to set things in motion to take ESTG's life. But G was still pushing his music and moving up the ranks, even linking with Louisville major artist Jack Harlow for the Banger Mall map. Jack kept it 100 and put on for his mans, bringing him out on tour against cops' warnings to stay away from G. G followed up his buzz, dropping two mixtapes in 2019, El Toro and Die Bloody. He was taken off, but not if H Block Duke had anything to say about it. The West End finally made their move in 2019 after G filmed the music video for his track, Taught Different with Sada Baby. G and his bro were in the whip when another vehicle pulled up and sprayed their Hellcat. His brother would be hit in the leg, and G would be hit four times in the stomach, one bullet ricocheted into his left eye. Recalling the situation, G thought he was done, but his bro came through in the clutch, keeping him awake and rushing him to the hospital. Left the video shoot, got shot. In your car? Yep, 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 got shot five times. My people was with me, my brother was with me. 
got shot in his leg. I got shot in my stomach four times when I got shot in my, my face and my left eye. I did some digging and found this news article referencing two men shot up in their whip around the same time, but no names were given in this report. G had to do multiple surgeries, especially to regain his sense of vision in his left eye. ESTG miraculously survived like a slap to the op's face. He was dropping music during recovery, including the music video for Taught Different, which they used to plot on him before. Girl, it was a long process, but I was dropping music. Luckily, that I had already had previously shot, yeah. you know what I'm saying, during that little period of time while I was recovering. He was using his tragedy to his advantage, even using his picture of him in the eye patch for his 2020 project, I Don't Feel None, where he addressed the situation on the track Nathaniel Forrest. G would sit down in an interview with Off The Porch and state hate and jealousy in the camp for what happened after a falling out with a friend, which gives credit to the studio shootout that took Big O's life breaking the crews apart. G said something chilling in the interview as well, implying that business was already handled and they got it back in blood. Like I said, the business got handled. You know what I'm saying? Everything is straight. Everything's straight. I'm straight. The situation's straight. We good. Maybe he was referring to the hit on West End native Brandon Waddles. Waddles was caught lacking inside his home and murked, but unfortunately, the shooter also took the life of his three-year-old baby girl. The connection to EST would be made certain later on, but all cops knew for sure was that they caught the shooter, Kevin Lawless, and charged him for the incident. Later, H-Block Duke would come for G on wax with the diss track, EST. Everybody shot together, and while the disses were cold, H-Block Duke included footage of G shot up whip and him stitched up in the hospital while rapping the bars. We get on EST for free, ask G about that freeway. We the reason for that bad eye and that zip on his stomach and a couple of his dead homies. We get on ESD for free, ass G about the freeway. We the reason for that bad eye and that zip on his stomach and a couple of his dead homies. But hold up, you hear that last line that implies West End murk some of G's homies? Well, apparently those words are true. Allegedly, West End spun the block taking the life of G's close homie, Austin Floyd, when they murked him on the 200 block of North 36th Street. Floyd would succumb to his injuries at University of Louisville Hospital. This hit G like a ton of bricks, as that was his man's. Floyd could be seen in music videos like Get Money. To this day, G has his picture on his IG profile pic, keeping his memory alive. The bodies were piling up, but EST wasn't going to let that stand and up the score again when Newburgh affiliate Warren Freeman caught a charge for the murking of West End affiliate Reginald Johnson in Louisville's Highlands neighborhood. Even though Warren was caught on footage firing shots at the sidewalk in the direction of Johnson, he was somehow cleared of all charges and the case dismissed without prejudice due to the lack of probable cause. Caught a body and seemingly got away with it. EST was up. Not to mention G was blowing up, dropping tracks with big leaguers like Moneybag Yo, Lil Baby, and Lil Dirk with the track In Town, where he showed clips of Austin Floyd throughout the video. Plus, he secured a $750,000 bonus upon signing with Yo Gotti's CMG label. G was forever getting his lick back for dudes that tried to snake him, and he made it known in his track Lick Back where he came for the op's neck. G bounced back and was winning, taking over the industry. That was until he suffered a series of painful deaths. First, his mom lost the fight to a tumor, then his brother was murked in the street. Then if that wasn't enough, the law cracked down on the entire EST crew in their federal trafficking bus. ESTG, although not arrested himself, saw his name and crew plastered across the news media worldwide. EST labeled a street gang operating in Louisville by the feds, lost 10 of their members to the law under charges for trafficking, distribution, and conspiracy, three of which all still on the run. The takedown came at the hands of the federal initiative called Project Safe Neighborhoods, and investigations began after Kevin Lawless allegedly murked Brandon Waddles and his three-year-old daughter, Trinity Randolph. Lawless was bailed out for 300 k with a number of checks stamped Everybody Shine Together Entertainment. Everybody Shine Together Entertainment LLC showed the records of both ESTG and his manager and business partner Eric Mosley, names being behind the company. Cops also tapped into the lyrics of G's song Sky Dweller where he raps, they want one meal for Lil' Kata, know I'm coming to get you baby, know my heart might get me drilled but it got me here so risk I'm taking. Lil' Kata is Kevin Lawless name in the streets. 
Mix that with the name sign that's paying the bond being Nigel Talley who was an A&R at Atlantic Records and also connected to G as the one who linked him with Yo Gotti. This gave the cops evidence to connect the dots and swoop in for the takedown. They pulled up on Mosley at a Louisville hotel and served a warrant and caught him with a kilogram of coke, a hundred grand cash, and an AK-47 style pistol and a stolen handgun. He's facing a minimum of 10 years in prison and a maximum penalty of life in prison. ESTG has dodged an arrest that would end his career. It's still possible for someone arrested to sell him out to save themselves. You know how that go. But hopefully he can remain clean from the drama and continue his career because right now he's one of the hottest in the game, period. Other than another small time Louisville rapper Johnny 502 trying to beef with G, he seems to be in the clear for now. Hopefully he doesn't take the bait and spark another feud with Johnny 502's taunts. I don't like you, nah, I ain't gonna say I don't like you, but I'm in your block, like real talk. I'm right here, I'm right here, yeah. Where am I? This ain't no Photoshop shit either, hold on, where am I? So there you have it. Thanks for kicking it with your boy. Appreciate the love and support. I'll catch y'all on the next one. And remember, stay smart, stay alert, and stay real. I'm out.